Hello and welcome to the Car Guy Coffee Podcast for the DC20 Unlocked Series brought to you by Drive Centric. For more information or to get signed up for the next DC20 event, go to drivecentric.com. Let's brew! What's going on, car guys and car gals? It's Lou Ramirez, the car guy. And it's Fred Lenard, subprime hero. And we are excited to be brewing some solutions with you today. This is going to be a fun one, everybody, because we are talking more about this incredible event that is right at our doorstep. It's like a couple of weeks away, Fred. Yeah, very fast. We went to NADA, and then as soon as NADA ended, the world went so it's just moving by extremely fast and yes it's like the march springboard. the first week of march i'm excited it's going to be great it's going to be the, i believe the seventh no the sixth and the seventh of march yes. Woo, folks it's going to be in st louis we're talking about dc 20 unlocked and this is going to be the opportunity for you to find out how to take your dealership to the next level by maximizing an incredible tool inside of your dealership's operation that's right and uh there is so many great people and so many great things that are happening today but today we have a special guest that is somebody that's making some incredible things happening as usually what we would consider a super user these are some of the best beans in the business brewing some solutions with drive centric and uh, we want to make sure that you know what's cooking what's brewing and what's uh, going on out there with people that are doing what it is that you do car guys and car gals connect to your customers use the tools that you're supposed to have operate your business with the best tools inside of the business Bingo. that you have access to and drive centric is an incredible tool that so many people have so much great hype about and they're finding out about and at NADA it was incredible incredible how yeah, many people came out yeah, to see what was brewing with them and Fred the high fives the hugs the love all of that stuff is fantastic and it's great and it's what's awesome yeah. about those events yeah, man. but we all go to those events to be able to leave there with something to brew something to make sure we bring back to our businesses to our dealerships and to our communities right that's a good feeding trough for all of us to get some good stuff and take it back with them and going back to a store this individual that's with us is going to be able to also deliver what he's been brewing to other dealers at dc20 and this is a good little hey let's get the smells in the air for everybody this is a an opportunity to get our guest talking about what can be unlocked if you show up at DC20. Yeah, no doubt about it. A lot there. And I'm excited because NADA was amazing. DC20, it's a small, intimate event that people get to come together. Dealers that are using the same tool or some that are wanting to maybe use this tool because a lot of them come that are not actually That's dealers true. of drive centric. They come really. to learn and feel out, maybe be possible candidates to be partnered up with them. I think it's a two-way street. You both need to figure out if it's going to work together. Because when you look at a, an amazing tool like uh, Drive Centric and you actually utilize it the right way, it's beyond amazing. I think you could do that with a lot of tools, but with Drive Centric in particular, they do something special, DC20. And they bring in the dealers and they help each other. Super users look at it through different lenses, all combined together in one place where they mastermind, they do roundtables, they talk about all these amazing things. And they invite dealers like the person we're going to have on the show today to be speakers. And a lot of times it's the first time they've ever done, they've ever done something like this, which is even cooler. It stretches them outside the box, which this tool does the same thing. So it's all inclusive. It's a lifestyle that drive centric brings. And man, I'm so excited to have this person come on. I can't wait to introduce them. I, I like the initials because the- <laughs> it's, it's cool. I'm sure he's heard that before a time or two, but I'm excited to have him on the show. I'm excited to talk about, his past, his present, his future, and of course, this amazing tool, Drive Centric. So let's go, bro. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Car guys and car gals, do us a favor and tag a car guy. Tag a car gal. And share, 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 share. share, share, share. share. Get the message out there. Let everybody know that we are brewing solutions. Talking about DC20 unlocked with the one, the, the only, Matt Miranda. Welcome to the party. We're excited that you're here. What's going on, guys? Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude, no doubt about it. And this is the first time you've been on a 
podcast. Yes. It is my first podcast ever. Yes. You also doing it's a double whammy because it's a podcast and it's also a webcast because we are streamed live everywhere, all over social. We're on YouTube right now, everywhere. So subscribe. tag, tag a friend, make sure they go subscribe to the show. But man, I'm telling you, it's because of the people like you is what makes our show great. It's never been about Lou and I. It's always been about our amazing guests. Yes. And yeah, you're amazing, brother. We're excited to talk about you, man. I know you're up in that Oregon area. So tell people a little bit more about yeah. you, what you do and where you're at. Yeah, we're up in, we're in Hillsboro, Oregon. So it's going right to be on. directly outside of, outside Portland, about 45 minutes or so. We have four stores up here. We have a Buick GMC store, Mazda, Toyota, and Subaru. And then the cool part about us is we're the number one used car dealer in Oregon. We've got sometimes up over 700 cars, sometimes down towards 300. Like right now we're slacking a little bit, but we're calling back up there. So that's right. This industry has its waves, but there's ways to get through it. As long as you have that type of attitude. I love what you just said there. We're getting back through it and we'll get that wave. Number one, being the number one pre-owned independent, like that's amazing. That's a lot of fun to be. Uh, Lou and I know that feeling. We did that in Kentucky just, just with our nice, group. Nice, nice. So pinkies up, let's go. <laughs> that's right. We got a chance to do that. So it's good. It's been years. So it's good to see someone currently just out there rocking and rolling and really having fun. I know that there you guys also have some franchise stores. So tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, it's really cool with our Subaru store right now. They've been number one, I believe it's the past five months in a row in the Pacific Northwest. So leading our district leads into the drive centric conversations. We switched about a year ago and it took us a little bit to get our feet under us and get the ball rolling. And then the Subaru store, especially they've really taken off. Our Toyota store is one of the fastest growing in the area. So they're starting to figure it out as well. Wow. And then our GMC Buick and Mazda, they've got some management changes and things like that. So they're still trying to figure it out, but. I've really learned to focus one store and use it as a model and move it to our other stores. Uh, that's mm. great to hear, man, and, and see that you took the tool in. And of course, any big change like a CRM, it does take some time. It takes some buy-in and it takes a, a lot, lot of growing pains. <laughs> a lot of learning. I know that you were with other tools. We don't have to talk about the other tools and solutions, um, but, <laughs> but I know we use them. Great tool, though. Don't listen. I'm not talking mm. bad about any of them. Mm. But I think that there's sometimes you need to make a change because your store is going a different direction, right? And it was time to look at how do we speak to our customers in a different language? And I think by using DriveCentric, you were able to find that. When you were making that decision, what was one of the biggest differences that made you say, okay, it's time to go ahead and at least give DriveCentric an opportunity here? Yeah, it's actually a funny story. I'd say probably about a year and a half ago, my boss came to me. My realm was in CRM. That's Even when I was a sales guy, I always wanted to work internet leads. And I knew that's where this industry was going, right? Every industry for the most part. But And it's always a funny story. He comes to me, says, I want you to go. We're going to, you're going to find the best CRM there is. Let's go. Let's put the best of the best with our salespeople. And he sent me out to digital dealer. I believe it was either November or October, a couple of years ago that I went, ended up going out to. And I found drive centric. And they were the first company on my list for CRMs that I demoed with. And I always joke around with them. I tell them all the time, they were the first ones I crossed off the list. I, I wanted nothing to do with them at first. I thought they were missing a bunch of stuff. And really what it comes down to is your mindset from these other CRMs. They're, they're, they're more, more or less glorified spreadsheets in a way, right? Like ah. a spreadsheet. And going to Drive Centric, it's just a communication platform. Uh, a lot of the salespeople even consider it like a social media platform and things like that. And so that's what I'm focusing on with my presentation at DC 20 is just, you got to retrain your brain. You have to view it in a different lens. You had talked about viewing things from a different lens of all the expert users coming together and how it works for their stores. Mm -hmm. But even a step further out is, is just the CRM as a whole, mm -hmm. the differences from the kind of the old big three, I always go to elites, dealer socket and Vin solutions, right? They're all the same more or less they have some different features and things like that but drive centric really separates themselves as a communication platform more than anything i'd say i, I agree with you and I, when you said that whole part that social sales people think feel like it's another social media platform it is and that's exactly how they need to look at it it's even the way that we can look at our sales people's activities is like social media for us right i love that and it should be our social media totally. and, and during those eight hours we're at work minimum right <laughs> while we're there we need to be, right? If you sell enough cars, you could write your own schedule, right? That's, That's the fact. That's very true. That. But, the, but the thing is when you're working those hours, you want to make sure that they're doing the right thing. So use that as their tool. Their customers are their social media. They need to be marketing to them, talking to them, sending them posts, pictures of cars, mark like polls, even on there they should be mm -hmm. doing it all. That is Absolutely. such a beautiful place, especially when you're trying to farm your leads. And farming those leads is not an easy task, right? And this tool makes it a lot easier. And I believe that. But what it also does is it helps you 
mine data. It's like multiple tools in one. A lot of people say this is CRM. I, I do agree, but I believe it's a what you said, it's a customer relations tool that we can use to more or less uh, speak to them in so many ways, but also know how to speak to them and who to speak to at certain times because of the data mining that we have with our current database even. So tell us a little bit more about that. Tell I know that you used in the past some other mining tools, right? Mm -hmm. But this is something that really is next level, I believe. So tell people what you think about that. Yeah, I think the biggest advantage probably to the mining tool in Drive Centric is how it's built directly into it. And I think either some other mining tools do have it, or maybe some other CRMs have it as well. But the CRM and mining built into one tool is really helpful because there's programs like we had auto alert before, right? And they would talk to each other. There's a little push pull action from each of the, the softwares talking to each other, but being able to go into your CRM and mine the deals of people who are talking to you and not have to switch systems, you just open up the customer profile and start talking to that customer. It's a game changer, really. The easier you can make the salespeople's lives, the more work they're going to do and the better they're going to do it. So it's going to be a quantity and quality improvement. On so many different levels. So many. Because you allow the technology to do what the technology is capable of doing. And you allow the car guys and car gals to do what it is that they're <laughs> capable of doing. Right? Them doing precisely what the computer can't replicate. The computer can't replicate how they actually build relationships with the customers that go through the process with the dealership. While at the same time, to them, they need it reduced to the ridiculous. We all need it reduced to the ridiculous. What are the things I actually need to move to car deal? Mm -hmm. This is a fundamental piece of training dealerships as they go through their day-to-day -day process is making yeah. sure that with the time that they have doing whatever it is that they do, that they're productive as they do it. And when you jump into a CRM, this massive software that has all of this incredible information in it, and you can fine tune it with mining. You mean I can create a list of the exact type of customer that I <laughs> yeah, want? right? Now. I, can, I can, as many of them as we have inside of our system, I can call them right now. Yeah, you can go for it. <laughs> that type of technology is still, it's there the way that they are masters of inter making sure that it interacts with everybody engaging like a social media platform, because it is literally social in that we're communicating with people. It is media. We can send every sort of media into and through it. We can live FaceTime basically with a customer right now doing a video call with them right now. As we're doing the show, we can get a customer on the phone and talk to them and enjoy doing it, right? There's, there's a yeah. the factor of it. And that, that's where that social media aspect comes in. Yeah. Is the salespeople almost want to spend time on the app. And Drive added the, uh, there's a video section along the top of the app now where you can see what other salespeople have been sending out. And I have it all the time where people are opening up the video, seeing what they're sending. And I'll have somebody completely separate from the, uh, the customer tag me and say, hey, look at this video he sent out. Look how good it is. Things yeah. like that. And it's really interesting how just changing up the software and the way Drive Centric presents its information, salespeople want to work now. They're excited to come to work and to send their videos and everything, really. Just go talk to the customer. Because it feels it, comfortable. Yeah, it feels, feels like something they've done before. It's called it's confidence. It is. It's, it's sheer confidence in, in that they get to utilize it in a way that's effective, even down to making sure that they speak well, right? They say the right thing the right way at the right time. It's magical. And... There's so many people that get the chance to do incredible things. Not all of them make it to a DC 20 unlock to be able to speak. And you, our friend, are coming to have some fun. It might be for some reasons like Toyota is trending to be number one in the last quarter. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You might be making some noise out there. Uh, but bit. what is it that hopefully? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hope. Hopefully, no, we already know, brother. You're doing it right now. <laughs> but as this goes, your pod has selected you for a speaking session at DC20, wh wh why would your pod want to select you? What is it that you're making sure that they All keep right, your shout name out, up? Shout out, to, shout pod out eight. to Pod 8. Pod 8, pod eight is the greatest. I've, I've given them so many shout outs. I've even emailed Mr. Rossler and told him, don't ever change my pod. You try to change my pod, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to riot. <laughs> That's right. They are the best. It's really hard. I noticed when I was trying to, right now I'm trying to create my presentation and what I'm going to talk about. And yes, it's about mining. But of all the things that even me and you guys have just talked about, the social media, the presenting the right information at the right time. 
I've really learned it's so hard to stay focused on one topic with drive centric because everything does blend so well together. Like I said, you need to retrain your brain for the CRM as a whole. They took that same concept though, and each step of their program, each different piece of the software takes that same concept. You have to retrain your brain. When you go into your data mining, it's different than it used to be. It's different than even five years ago or from a different system. And the same thing, when you go to your pipeline on the home screen, you get lost in the weeds with drive centric because you want to go down this, you try to go down AI, Again, retrain your brain. You try to go down mining, retrain your brain. Everything with them is you just have to think about it a little differently. I love that. And what they're trying to do is they're unlocking the unfair yes, advantage yes. for you, right? And that's the whole that's their whole theme all year long is unlocking the unfair advantage. Because when you do that, it it, it makes a difference. When you're able to have your salespeople excited about using a tool that's beyond anything. It's, I, I don't care if it's a million dollars for that tool to be it, it to me, if they're going to use it, then that, then it's worth the investment. And this is so worth the investment, the time. And I know that they do some different things, like the way they even onboard is a little different. I'm sure you went through that experience. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of virtual stuff, but they give you a lot of training before you even start. They have videos for you to start watching and learning about what they're doing. They're always educating and their pods mm -hmm. are always there to help you be able to go even further if you need to. And I also, also see i've been to the i've been to the headquarters and what i love is really cool headquarters, isn't huh? it i know right it's well, like it's almost like man i'm super jealous i want to be there right? work here instead <laughs> yeah so but they even have like their little brain area in the back where they fix the stuff like the ones that are like the code writers and making sure that everything is running for not just drive centric but for each individual dealership and how they want it to look and run and, and it's very catered to the it's like Lou and I joke a lot, but we, we're serious about it. It's when we talk about we're like baristas, Car Guy Coffee, and we're going to serve you the cup of coffee for you. This cup, you may want sugar, but this person does not. They want just oat milk, right? Whatever it is, I got to make sure that each person, each, each dealership is getting that exact custom cup of coffee for them. And they do that so well. They are baristas in this industry, and they always make sure that you're getting that cup. If you don't like it, what I love about them, if it's not hot enough, they'll bring it back and make you another one. And they'll make sure That's it's what it said. Absolutely. That's it. Yeah. I love this. Jenna's been jumping on. She said something. I know I put the comments up. Jenna. Woo, Matt. And, she said, and talking about the presentation, she says, can't wait to see his presentation. It's fire. I and just I sent it to her over the weekend. I was a little late on it. I felt bad. I had to send it over to her over the weekend and apologize for it being a little bit late. But yeah, like yeah. I said, it was so hard to stay focused on the mining because you dive into it and then you start to realize how it connects to everything else with drive through. And drive <laughs> I think that one thing that when you came from Vin Solutions and then you went to drive centric, I'm sure it taught you like what to focus on, what really matters. That's some of the, what the tool does. A lot of times we think, okay, I have this tool. It's just so that my, my salespeople just stay busy talking to our customers. But that's not, There's so much. More that's just a big, small, minor piece of it. If that's all you're doing, you're missing so much money, so much opportunity and so many relationships. So, what did it teach you to focus on more? I think you nailed it right there. Of all the things different about Drive Centric, it, it helps you prioritize. And I think that was why I ended up crossing them off my list at first. I was like, nope, I don't want this company. I we're going to go some other direction. It, it's because of all the time I get salespeople coming up to me. And when we first signed on with Drive, that how do I find my list of customers? Where are all of my customers? Okay, I, I get why you might want that because that's how I was as a car or as a sales guy. I would I'd go through one by one and make sure I didn't miss even one opportunity. I wanted to go through it. But I think now with internet being so prominent, you get so many people coming in online to talk to you that it's impossible to go one by one through every single one of them. And so I have to tell my salespeople, what are you going to do with the list of 150, 200 people for all your customers? What's your goal with it? And then they look at me, uh, I'm not sure, maybe this. And so I say, okay, let's come up with a different plan. We're going to, let's figure out what you want to accomplish first. And then we'll build a list based off that, which is where it leads me into mining, which is exactly what mining is, is digging through all your deals to try to find that customer that you might be able to sell a car to right now. Yep. You have to have it a different approach of, okay, what's my plan of attack first and then figure out who I'm going to attack. If that makes sense. You got to work a little backwards too. I agree 100%. The best of the best always have a plan or a map on how to get yeah. to where they want to yeah. go. They know where they're at. They know where they want to go and they have a plan of attack, but they also understand there's adaptability needed, of course. Mm -hmm. Got a question for you. I just heard a little something that you have a fishing now. Yeah. Tell us a little <laughs> more. What exactly is that? We're in this mining. I have a feeling it's all tied into this. So tell us about this fishing analogy. See, I, I don't have it built into my presentation yet. I keep trying to find a way to do it. We had talked about AI a little bit earlier, and I even had ChatGTP trying to help me out. I was putting some things in there and seeing what it fed me. 
And the way we're thinking about it is if you're at a lake and you're trying to fish, you can throw your fishing rod wherever you want, right? You, you throw the line and it's going to land somewhere. And maybe there's fish in the area, maybe there's not. But what Drive Centric lets you do is it says, hey, if you throw it over there, there's some fish in the pond over in that area. So go focus the line over there with the bait and everything there. And maybe don't worry about this area as much right now. If you knew where the fish were in the pond, you would change everything you're doing when you go to fish. Sure. And it's that same concept. Don't go fish where there's no fish. Yeah. This is that tool that finds the fish, right? Exactly. It's, it's fish finding this tool. is where Let's they go. are. Go <laughs> there's there a school of them right here. And the, the, exactly. So go focus that area. Then comes to cast the line. You still got to prep the hook. You still got to have the rod, have the reel, have, use, do all of the other things that have to happen. The thing that drive centric overly simplified does is help you get to that point that you need to be to do the outreach it takes to the customer mm -hmm. and, and it simplifies it the the interaction with a a software to do our job better shouldn't be laborious right it shouldn't yeah. be something that we dread and can't stand to go to when we look at the face of a sales pro and we say hey make sure that you put it into the crm or go check your crm for that when we say crm it, it shouldn't be trigger for frown right <laughs> exactly. it shouldn't be a trigger yeah. word for somebody to say oh man it's just oh, oh fine i'll go do it I gotta do the thing and the they thing you know, no they should be like okay yeah heck yeah because that's going to be able to set me up to be able to keep communicating with my customer this way yeah let's go they should be pumped up to go and do that what about that do you feel is key in even being a fisherman? Because everybody has the technology and the tools accessible to go jump inside of a lake and go find fish. You got to be passionate about doing that. What does this do for somebody trying to activate their passions and taking care of customers? We see some comments are coming yeah, through here. Some good ones. I, I love this. Let's touch this real fast. Big, so small, minor piece. Those words have never been said together. Brian, <laughs> love you. We should have ran that through a jet. Chat GBT. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Jordan Cox saying, don't go fish where there's no, no fish. fish. Matt Miranda, your friendly neighborhood rock star. Yeah. Just trying to help everybody out. <laughs> God loves him. JC, what up, Jordan? Good. Appreciate you. And then we got Brian again saying, glorious is greater than laborious. Laborious. Yes, yes it, is. it is. And then the, I think the, I think what you're thinking about your quote is more like using a fisherman radar instead of casting a line in the lake. Yeah. I, when I go fishing yeah. with when I go even deep sea fishing, we always look for, we have an idea, use a GPS to an area where we normally think that this time of day it's going to be. But when you get there, you, you run that radar to see if fish are coming yeah. by, big ones, small ones. And then when you see a big one, you start dropping lines, right? You're like, bam, bam, bam. So that's the idea behind it. And it's so much better. You're right. That is a great analogy to talk about how we do that. Not only does Drive Centric tell you where to throw the line, but they have all the different bait that you could ever use. They, they have everything it, when you throw it, it, all sorts of stuff. They do. They got it all right there inside of that toolbox that they have. They are literally that. They are a fishing toolbox, so you can catch the biggest fish, the smallest fish, all the fish. You they have it all. It. Anything you want. They catch. They even help you catch bait for your fish. You know what I mean? So remember that, and that's a great analogy. You're going the right direction with that, Matt. You're going to do a great job. Love you're. Love all you, I can man. tell you this right now: the way that you're speaking on the show, the way that you're answering this. You're going to speak phenomenally on the stage. You're going to I hope so. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. If you need a jacket, we have some. We do. We have There's... some cool jackets if you feel better. Uh, with big yeah. shiny jackets. The shiny ones. That, not, this way you don't have to worry about what you say. They'll be looking at like the Like reflective. It'll be maybe some like sparkles on it. Oh, oh yeah. Sparkles. Absolutely. Of sparkles. Absolutely sparkles. You try to pop when I'm there. Way, you know. It's going to be glorious. But regardless of what it is that you wear, brother, you're wearing the best thing that you can possibly wear right now. It's that big loud smile Amen having that. fun talking about what you're talking about Maybe <laughs> you bring uh that smile to that opportunity Man, that you have but you money. look you love it They're listen you're it. very blessed you look young my friend right you look super young but yet i hear and i and honestly i look too because they said they could not find a social media profile on you Sir, so it was I very difficult it. to find anything on you so that being said, I think you spend a lot of time using this tool for your social media because that's what matters to you, the people inside there, the customers that you're able to service, the salespeople that you're helping drive more opportunities in their lives. Because the more they help, the more they get to help themselves live a, the life that they dream of. We all are there. We've been there. You said you were a salesperson on the sales floor. Mad respect, bro. Soldier. Love that. And that makes, makes me like you even more. But like the, the thing is like, that's what it is. And I encourage you, and I want to just throw this at you, is start using social media. And, <laughs> and not because not to be something that 
drives you towards things, but it'll help you be able to share what you know. You Believe it or not, so I know you're going to do great speaking. You have a lot of knowledge here, man. You know how to use this tool really well, and you can really bring a lot of ideas and, and opportunities for other dealers that are going to be there. And people like me who want to learn more about this tool too, right? Um, I'm a big fan of it, but I don't know everything about it. So it's so cool to hear how you're talking about it and the perspective that you bring. But I'd tell you, get on there, man. Have fun. If anything, go to I LinkedIn. About it. I know get I need on, to. I know get on LinkedIn. Cool. I get on LinkedIn, my friend. If you get on LinkedIn, it'll change your life. You'll find other people. There. Yeah. We'll start with LinkedIn and then I'll, I'll bring That's where I started. I started well, there myself. I'd, so I'd like to think that you just started right here with CGC Media. No, he's on there. Oh, Car Guy Coffee CGC Podcast. CGC Media, baby. Representing DC20. You are about to have an incredible amount of content, not just out of this show, <laughs> but going to DC20 and getting all of that incredible content developed there to put you out. That's how you show up on the scene, brother, with all this incredible. Oh, dude. I need it. With the media to, to be like, hey, I got something to say. Love that. We got yes. some great stuff. He goes, love, love that. that fish where there are fish. He says, let's get the mind turning, fellas. Oh, and he, then he said it gets his mind. Turning. Gets his, he, he's loving that what gets he's the mind turning, fellas. I'm glad to hear that, Sean. Local, oh, local so nice. car guy. Love him. He says, Matt smiles so big. It matches his big heart for this amazing industry. That's right, that's and Brian right. Ortega made me laugh when I read this. Vote for Lenart's Lumera slightly 40 <laughs> or on MySpace. Because that's what made me laugh. Because that's some old school right there, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> When Something I hear MySpace, like I had Instagram and Facebook and all that, but I hear MySpace and I, that's where I go when I think social media because that was the last time I like. Whoa. It's such a different world now. That's okay. I was the same way. Listen, There's help for you. I was the There's same help. way and I came in and I was blown away <laughs> by what this does for the growth of your own business inside you, your brand, mm -hmm. brother. And you have a lot to give and you need to come on these shows for all you all out there watching. And matter of fact, there's one guy watching right now who yeah. has a great show. An incredible Jim show. Fitzpatrick, up, Jim? Uh, Mr. Oh. CBT News himself. What's Man, this guy's been doing it in this industry for a very long time. I've known who he is before he ever knew anything about Car Guy Coffee. But thank you for joining us. Shows like his, you do phenomenal. I know that they're always looking for great guests and especially dealers. They love speaking doing to Doing stuff that you're doing. And, and doing the things that you're doing. Talking about what you're talking about. Bringing light to this industry. Man, Jim said the best show podcast in the automotive industry. Wow. Thank you, Jim. Honored. So anyway, that's okay. Cool. Lot. Thank you. Great news. That love is that. Great. Love that. So, Appreciate that. Honor that, Jim. And the thing is, Jim is a person that's committed like we are to bring and highlight some of the most Forward thinking solutions to our industry, forward thinking people to our industry and Joe the most centric on the quality of people that we are putting microphones in front of cameras in front of. Right. All of this that gets produced for uh, somebody like you that's doing some great things is to say, hey, there's something that you may not get to see. Here's a moment. Here's a glimpse to see what it is that's brewing with some technology and the people that make the technology. Yeah, man. You're right. making something incredible happen, Matt. And that's what we really want to highlight, the value of what it is that you bring to the industry using the proper tools. The tool is the tool. We can put any name on it, but we want to say you better make sure that you are live with Drive Centric and recognize how intentional they are because it is a car guy for car guy tool. Right. It's developed by people that have seen what you've seen on a daily basis. How does that make you feel operating a tool that you're like, oh, this has been used with the lens of what I got to look through on a daily basis? How does that feel knowing this is a car guy developed tool for you? I think you hit it when you said it's the people making that technology work. Like you guys want to say that I'm doing it and all that. But the fact of it is it's the sales managers and salespeople, the finance guys, it's them using it on a day to day basis to talk with the customer. They're the ones really making it work. Right. Amen. That's why the Subaru store is doing so well. And we have some other stores who are trying to catch up. It's those people who are using it on a day to day basis to actually talk to the customers. I like it for the reporting and I can see all stores at the same time and I can find coaching moments and all that kind of stuff. Wow. Of course. I love that. But honestly, it's the people in the store. They're the ones who, I'm not making Subaru the number one in the district right now. It's the guys in the store, definitely. I, I love how you honor and I and how humble you are, brother. And yes, it is. It takes everybody. And that's the fact of the matter is that there's great tools in a lot of dealerships that just don't get used. You know, so they don't know the, how great yeah. they really are. So it takes the people inside the store, the buy-in, and it takes and it and it does. It takes good leadership. So it does start with the leadership, brothers. Take a little bit on that shoulder, right? You get you deserve a little, a little stripe right there, right? <laughs> but at the same time, I know it is. 
it, it, it doesn't matter how, how great something is without people using it. And when you find out when it gets used, how great it is, it's such a blessing. And then you become number one in your region. Next thing you know, you're number one in the state. Then you're like looking at like, how do we become number one in the country? And, that's, that's, that's right. one of, and it is. This business is, there's always another hill that we could climb. There's always another peak that we can reach. And I love that. And I'll always honor that about this industry. It'll never, ever be sitting still. It's always right. opportunity and there's always change. And there's always great new people and people who've been doing it for a while joining this industry and watching this show, like the Joe Callas that jumped mm -hmm. on here, the Jordan Coxes, of course, the Jim Fitzpatrick's, love him, Brian Ortega, love y'all, Sean Taylor, man, love you, Sean, bro. Love you, It's bro. good to see you, my yeah. man. And that's why you got to commemorate Diff breed, some right? moments. There we and go. inside of that, I second the motion that Jordan Cox has over here, that it's time to start selling t-shirts. I was there at Matt's <laughs> first Facebook Live. This is an inaugural moment. This is that. something that we will look back at and say, that's where we started actually hearing about him. But he he's the first, first, which means there's gotta be more. So I gotta keep going. Oh, oh, there's gotta <laughs> be more. And I got a follow-up. My guess is you're gonna be invited to many shows after this one. And um, we're gonna be at DC20. And we'll so be at DC20. At so DC we will be doing a show with him there inside the war rooms, we call it. Right. So we're excited to see you there. We'll have some fun. And I'm, I can't wait to see you in the after hours when we get to do some fun stuff like get some golf balls over at top golf and, and really I'm, I'm, I'm a terrible ball. golfer but i'm ready it's gonna hey, be listen, i don't think really anybody's really that great or they wouldn't sell cars but one time <laughs> I, I found a way to hit the ball backwards one time i don't even know how i hit it and it went flying backwards that's and... golf then at least you're trying at least you're trying my friend i love it awesome well, we are it. Enough to be able to see you out there and we are folks we are going to talk with him right after he gets done speaking to everybody at dc20 and That's he right. conducts exactly what we're talking about is brewing and we know that it's going to be incredible we know that it's going to be fun and you can stay tuned and watch it or you can actually be a part of it and make sure that you are there to witness the history uh that matt is going to uh brew up there for everybody and we can't wait to see you there matt if people do not make it out there if they don't get the chance to talk to you from here till then, or they want to reach out and say, man, we've seen you on the podcast. We've seen you talking about DC 20 unlocked. And we want to know a little bit more about this unfair advantage that it is to have this tool inside of their system. How do they get a hold of you? Can we link a phone number and email? I That's sure can. Cool. Social media, but I will start working on it. All right. Plug phone in there. number 503. Do I just say it out loud? 858-9130. You said 503-818-9130? 858-9130. And then for email, it'll be mmiranda at royalmore.com. Royalmore.com. M-O-O-R-E. Yeah. Make sure that you check that out, everybody, and uh, give him some love. It'll be up in two seconds. But before we go, folks, what a great show this was. I'm excited that we had you on the show today. The honor to have you on the show and can't wait to hang out with you. I know that when you went, I don't think we were at the one you went to because I would have remembered hanging out with you. I think no, I, it was a, about a year and a half ago now, I think. Yeah, I think that was one of the first mm -hmm. ones they did. We didn't go to that one. Yeah, awesome. so that's really cool. Oh, and I can't wait to break some bread man. with you and have some fun, man. Enjoy some time. So does everything look right down there, folks? That looks right. And Miranda yeah. at royalmore.com. 503-858-9130. Reach out to him, folks. Tell him that he's awesome because he is, <laughs> right? But if you guys want to have him on the show, reach out to him. He is a great guest. He shows up on time, does all the things. It's hard to find a picture of him. So <laughs> ask for it. <laughs> I love it. We appreciate you. Thank uh, you, guys. I appreciate you. This was great. I this love is, This is always so much fun. For those of you that are listening on the podcast or for those of you that are watching this live, make sure that you do subscribe. Make sure that you do share this around. Make sure that you do reach out to mmiranda at royalmore.com. That's 503-858-9130. And you can also go to www.drivecentric.com to get more information about all of this incredibleness that we were talking about in the tool of drive centric itself but if you want to reach out to matt man do what it takes to get a hold of him and i'm sure that he is an open book for you to learn how to be a super user as well and to get the most out of a tool that you spend some money on okay make sure that you utilize it yeah. uh, to the best that you can everybody Facts. that's been hanging out with us today thank you so much we love you all appreciate uh the love out there in the community and this is a one you want to look out for everybody this miss
Mr. Matt Miranda that's brewing solutions in the industry. We can't wait for him to uh, unite with us again out there in the incredible St. Louis area. There's no doubt. Pumped up. We're Most excited, forward. folks. There's one thing that we need to just announce really quick, man. After all this conversation, learning more about you, I have to say that you are 100%. CGC, <laughs> bro. That, thank you so much for being on the show. I love today. it. Thank you, guys. Thank, yeah, thank you. you. We love that, man. We appreciate you. Thank you for being letting us be your first podcast ever yes. that you were on. You crushed it. Absolutely <laughs> crushed you. it. I know everyone amazing. out there agrees with us. Thank you so much. You definitely gave some great tips, folks. Use your CRM the right way. Use it to really help your team finger. fish where they where the fish are. I love that. Let's go. All right. You, so one last it. thing we got to do, Matt. There's always one we got to wipe off the weight of forgiveness. We got to <laughs> focus, look at what it is that we have control over, what we can do and where we want to go and stretch out and fly so that we can keep growing all the time. So help us out real quick, Matt. Hands on the shoulders on three. One, two, three. Forgive. Forgive. Focus. focus. Fly. And, and keep growing. Keep Growing. I love it, dude. Thank you so much, everybody. That's beautiful. It. I am Lou Ramirez, the Car Guy. And I'm Fred Lenard, Sub Prime Hero. And you've been Brewing Solutions on the Car Guy Coffee Podcast, brought to you by Drive Centric with the one, the only, Matt Miranda. We will see you soon. We're out. Peace.